I have a nail polish haul. I have been hanging on to this stuff for about a month, probably pretty much since my last nail polish haul, and it's finally time to haul it. Um, so a lot of swatches in my future. I have not swatched um, any of these. Take that back. I've worn a couple of them, um, but I don't have swatch pictures yet, unfortunately. So I'm going to do my mainstream ones first. I just have a few that I picked up from China Glaze. Um, I actually made an order on Head to Toe Beauty. I bought um, the, I can't see them, the Orly Adrenaline Rush collection to review and I, I've had this review. I've got all the pictures done. I haven't done the video yet, uh, but I keep pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back. So hopefully that will come. It might be 10 times later than it should be, but hopefully it will be done because I did already buy it. So I kind of want to do a video on it. But when I got those, I did a little bit of China Glaze shopping uh, and picked a few up. So the first one that I got, I actually saw Amy from uh, Nail Polish Baby 90 talking about this. She had got it in this like kind of China Glaze grab bag thing that they had on Amazon UK. And I was like, I really like that color. It's like a really ugly color, but I like it. This is a life preserver from China Glaze. And this was from the, what was the name of that collection? It had sea spray in it and first mate and... Now I can't think of the name of it. It's completely gone. But this was one of the ones I have... A Quite a few from that collection actually. Sunset Sale was in that collection. I still don't know the name of it. But I like this. Um, she described it as kind of a terracotta cream and that's kind of a color that I've been looking for. Um, it's been more for the fall, but I have not actually found one. I found it in kind of hollows. I've found a lot of shimmers, but I haven't actually found a cream, which is what I wanted. So I picked that one up. Um, the next one that I picked up is Flip Flop Fantasy. I, I assumed I was going to get the newer version. I don't have the newer version. I have the older one. But when I was scrolling through, I just saw this listed and I thought, you know, what the heck, maybe there's a chance that I'll get, you know, a backup of the older version. I didn't. I got the newer one, which a lot of people had told me was very, very similar to Son of a Peach, and it really is. This is the old version. I mean, my light is really bright because I'm not used to this light, but you can see that this is a lot more orange, and this is definitely more on the pink side. So I have the newer version now, at least, even though I was kind of, you know, crossing my fingers I would get the older one. Um, and then I just picked up three that I just didn't have and that I kind of wanted just, like, to compare the more popular ones, I guess. This one is Aquadelic, and this is kind of a robin's egg blue color. I don't need another one of these, but a lot of times when I show those colors, I have people asking how they compare to this one, so I thought it wouldn't be bad for me to have it in my collection. The other one that I bought pretty much for the same reason is Dance Baby. This is a light pink, um, and I actually was able to use this as a comparison in my Desert Escape review, like the day that it came in the mail, so it, that one worked out. And the other one that I got is Tinseltown, and this is just one that I have... I mean, since I first started getting into nail polish, I have had this in my cart multiple times and always taken it out. And I finally picked it up. This is just a silver, um, I think it's in a black jelly base, or it's black glitter in there as well. Man, I don't know. Let me put it on a piece of paper. This is a silver glitter and a black jelly base. Um, this is a silver micro glitter, and then there are also some larger, not like large, but larger than micro glitter, silver hexes in there as well. That is what I got from China Glaze. Also, Illamasqua went on Hot Look, and I bought a lot. Um, the last few times that they have been on Hot Look, I bought, I think I bought three, maybe two, um, ones that I had wanted, but a lot of the ones that I really wanted were sold out by the time I got to them, because I unsubscribed from the Hot Look emails like a long time ago. Um, this time they went on sale, and I was able to be there within 15 minutes of them going on sale, and I got quite a few. The first one is Nurture, and this is a neon lime green. This has a kind of rubberized cap, so this one is a matte. Um, I kind of played around with these a little bit. I can't remember exactly what the formulas were. I haven't swatched them all. This one was a little bit thin and streaky, like you would expect a neon to be, so I'll probably end up putting this one over a white. Um, I got Noble. I did wear this one already. This was a really nice two-coat cream, kind of like electric sky blue. Um, I picked up Nomad, which is a kind of mintier green. Rare, which is a neon yellow. I don't remember if I played with this one or not. I think this one was also a little bit thin, a little bit runny, um, so I'll probably end up using this one over a white as well. Finally, I picked up Raindrops. This is one of the ones that I've wanted for a while, just because everybody talks about it. And I was finally able to grab it. This is a light gray with silver. I mean, they're silver, but they're like the lightest, most delicate silver glitters ever. And they even um, look like they might be kind of slightly shredded or silver flakies. Um, Serenity is kind of very similar to Noble, actually. It's just a little bit 
just a little bit lighter. This one has the rubberized cap though, so I'm assuming that this one dries matte. I picked up Jomina because this is one of the ones that everyone's been talking about and that I have not tried. Mine needs a good shake, it's got a lot of veining in it, uh, but I do, I'm really excited about this one because I've kind of been on a purple kick lately. And the last one is Prosperity, which is a very, very deep kind of warmer purple, and this also has the rubberized cap, so I'm assuming that one's matte. The only other mainstream one that I have is from L'Oreal, and this is Masked Affair. I had um, looked all over my town when this was first out, and I was never even able to find the display for the, um, what is it, what was it called, the Dark Sides of Grey or something like that collection. Yeah, I was never even able to find the display for this, let alone this actual polish. And then I went to the Michigan Nail Girl meetup a few weeks back, and there was, someone had posted on Facebook, in the Facebook group the night before, that they were looking for Orly's Mirror Ball and that they would be willing to trade Masked Affair for it. And I jumped on that. Um, I already had Mirror Ball, and I have not worn it since I bought it. I've never worn it, so I went ahead and traded um, Mirror Ball for Mask of Fair, and I was really, really excited about it. And then, then I did a bad thing, and as soon as I got home, I was like, I still want Mirror Ball, and so I went to Amazon, and I found it for normal price, and I bought another bottle of it. So now I have two, and I feel like I kind of cheated her out of Mask of Fair. But I think she was trading someone else for another bottle of Master Fair. So I'm going to try to make myself feel better in thinking that she had a stash of these and that I didn't actually cheat her out of one. I feel like kind of a jerk though. So moving into the indies, I'll move right on into this one since it also kind of relates to the Michigan Nail Girl meetup. This is Sunsets Over the Great Lakes from Native War Paints. This is a mini. Uh, Amanda from Native War Paints was at that meetup and she actually made this little mini bottle of this like meetup exclusive polish for everybody that was there. So this is a blue jelly base with a ton of iridescent glitters um, in different shapes and I think there's maybe even some shredded in there. Either shredded or that's just one very misshapen hex. It might just be a misshapen hex because the only one I see, but this is a really beautiful sparkly polish and I, again, haven't worn most of these yet. I have three from Girly Bits. When I reviewed the, you can just barely see it, um, the Hoop, Hooper Girl, Hooping, Hoop There It Is collection. I can't remember the name of it. She also um, told me to go ahead and pick out two other ones from her regular line that I was interested in, and then there was also this one that kind of released the same day, but I don't like to throw extras into reviews, like specifically for those polishes, so I didn't actually end up talking about this, and I feel like kind of a jerk. Um, she also gave me a top coat, but I am working on a battle of the indie top coats with all of the indie top coats that indie sellers have sent me that I've never talked about over the last very long time, and finally getting to those. That's just going to be a really long video because I'm going to wear them, you know, all through to completion and I want to wear them all with the same polish so that I know that it's performing the same way. And I have not decided on a polish that I'm willing to wear one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in a row. I'll find one soon, but that's my only holdup on that. So the first one is the one that also released with the um, Hoop There It Is collection. And this is called Hoosier Daddy. And this is just a nice red, kind of medium red cream. The ones that I picked, um, I picked Grave Digger. This is a black jelly base with orange, green, um, purple, and pink metallic glitter in there. This reminds me a lot of Extra Crispy Walkers from Native War Paints, except it doesn't have the shredded, but I feel like it's kind of like my next best thing. Actually, that base looks like it might be a very deep purple rather than a deep black. It's hard to tell with this light kind of blinding me, but picked that up just because it's the closest thing that I could find to Extra Crispy Walkers, and I kind of hoard that one because I love it so much. Um, and the other one that I picked up is Mental Precision, which I believe was a collaboration with Polish to Precision, which I'm hoping uh, as a blogger or an Instagrammer, I'll look it up and I will um, link them down below. This is a nice minty blue-green and it has a blue flash to it. It looks like there's some like kind of silvery gold, very small flakies in there as well. So I will link Girly Bits down below and I'll also link Native War Paints down below because I talked about this one. The next one that I have is from Loaded Lacquer. Um, Heather sent this to me a while back. I just recently started working with Loaded Lacquer so I will probably be reviewing, hopefully, <laughs> really like her polishes, um, the newer collections that come out, but this was kind of just a single like re-release, but she sent it to me anyway because she's wonderful. And this is called Pool Toys. This one I have swatched and this kind of lived up to what I've learned to expect from Little Lacquer quality wise. It's very, very easy to use. Um, glitter to base ratio is really good. I didn't have a hard time getting any of the larger glitters out. There are larger stars, um, kind of medium circles. 
in red, white, yellow, orange, blue, pink, a couple different shades of pink, and then there's also a bunch of, looks like two different sizes of holographic silver hexes and maybe even some squares in there as well. really like this one. I will link Loaded Lacquer down below, but I believe Heather is moving from Texas to Alaska, like right now, and um, so her shop's probably going to be closed for a little while. I have two from Pretty and Polished. Um, this is kind of what really got me to, to shop at Pretty and Polished, and I kind of picked this one up just because I'm already paying shipping and I wanted to get another one. If I had known that I was going to be reviewing one from Native War Paints that was almost identical to this, I would have waited. Um, but I ended up getting this one. This is Maleficium. Maleficium? I don't know. This is a white curly base. The only difference between this and the one that I reviewed from Native War Paints is that one kind of had a, um, like a taupey gray kind of base. This one is more white. I mean, this guess is a little bit on the gray side. And then it has a lot of multi-chrome flakies mixed into it. I do really like the curly bases and multi-chrome flakies, but this is so close to the one from Native War Paints from the Kingdom of Tragedies collection that kind of didn't really need to get it. I wish I had known that that one was coming. <laughs> this one is called Jawbreaker, and it is a white curly base with a bunch of different um, metallic, actually, rainbow glitters in it. There are large red squares, some of those little itty bitty green bars, and then um, blue, purple, yellow. Yeah, it's all metallic, so it's a little bit different from other ones that I've seen. And I feel like this is the closest I've found to that one that I got from Studio M from Meyer. that was like a big, never-drying disappointment for me. So I picked that one up. I have one that I picked up from Baroness X. You guys know I need like every new shape to glitter possible. So I have actually a couple new glitter shapes here. This is the first one that I got. Again, I picked this up from Baroness X. This is called Pastel Grunge. This is a clear-based glitter mix. It has pastel, yellow, pink, and blue, and purple glitters. There are black and white matte hexes in there, but the new glitter, there are diamond-shaped um, black and silver diamonds. Diamond-shaped diamonds. And But these aren't like your um, playing card kind of diamonds. These are like your actual like cut like, can you see it? These are like actually cut diamond shapes. Like, people get tattoos of these a lot, I guess. Um, it's that kind of shape. You'll see it in my swatch, but I was really excited about that. So I picked that one up, and I'll link that website down below as well. Um, the other two that are new glitter shapes for me are from LG. I just got these ones the other day. They have um, flowers that are they're a little bit different. You know how you have your flowers, and then you have like those big flowers? Um, the shapes have come out. These are kind of like the same extra loopy kind of shape that the big flowers were in, but they're a little bit smaller. But what's big about these for me is that they have butterflies, and they're like, not like your rounded butterflies, they have very pointy wings, and so they're more like detailed butterfly glitters. This one is called Flutter By Garden. This has some neon glitters in it, not like the transparent ones, but the ones that you can layer over black. There are um, pink, orange, blue, green, purple circles and then they also have all those same colors in those newer flowers and then it has the black butterflies in it. And this one is called Summer Love and it's basically the same um, colors and mix but the butterflies aren't black, they're blue, green, and pink and yellow I believe but it's those same kind of pointy winged butterflies. I have one from Super Nails. I bought this one, so this is like my first full size from Super Nails. This one is called Comics. It has blue, red, yellow, and black small circle glitters, and then comic bubbles, white comic bubbles. I was really excited about this one, and I got it, and I opened it up, and I was looking at the, I was trying to get a comic bubble shaped out, because I really wanted to see them, and the more I looked at it, the more I was like, I've seen these before, and then I realized they are pumpkin shaped glitters. But when you look at them in white and upside down, because the pumpkin stem becomes like the speech bubble stem, my color is getting all weird, sorry. When you look at them upside down like that, they look like comic bubbles, um, but they're not. They're just the pumpkins upside down. It's just, it was really cool how it was kind of like a little mind trick, you know? Like your mind sees it as a comic bubble because it's white and it's upside down, but really it's just a pumpkin shape. I don't know, I thought that was really cool. So I'll link Super Nails down below. I have one from Cirque. This is actually my first polish from Cirque. Um, this is called NYFW, which I believe is New York Fashion Week. And this is a just deep, deep um, blue. It's not so dark that it looks black, but it is a very, very deep blue. This is a really... I have colors like this um, from, I think, Bijou from Poppy. Um, 
which is now Lily and Eve. I actually have that in Poppy and in the Lily and Eve version. I need to get rid of one of those. And it was it was a really bad formula for me. It was um, it was more jelly. It dried matte. It was streaky. Um, I really didn't like the formula on that one at all. This is a better color. It's a little bit more vibrant. It's not as dark as that one was, and it has a really good formula. It's almost opaque in one coat. I did do two because to make it opaque in one, it was really thick. Um, you had to apply it really thickly, and this is a little bit runnier of a formula, so it ran all over when I tried to get it opaque in one. Um, so I did do two in this one, but it's a really, really nice, beautiful blue color. This is one of those ones that I think looks really, really good under a silver glitter, because it doesn't look black, it still looks blue, but it's so dark that the contrast like really pops. I will link Cirque down below as well. So my last ones are from Polish by Jessica Jean. I have eight new frostings. I actually found out the other day that I missed a frosting, and it sold out on me. So there is one frosting that I don't have, and it was like springtime, springtime frosting or spring frosting. I talked to Jessica about it. We're going to try to get me a bottle because it's just like weird for me not to have all of them. So the first one that I have is kind of like picked it up for collection purposes because I don't know... I mean, it's not like the prettiest thing ever. I forget what she said she was trying to make out of this, and it ended up like being a white curly base with just red and yellow glitters in it. She named it ketchup and mustard frosting. It kind of became like an oops thing. Um, I thought it was hilarious. I liked it a lot. I wanted to call it... I wanted to call it Ronald McDonald frosting, or Ronald McDonald's frosting, and then I realized how bad that could sound to the right person and apparently I'm the right person because as soon as it came out of my mouth I realized how messed up that sounded. So she went with ketchup and mustard frosting which I really appreciate. The next one is flowers in my frosting and this is a beautiful springtime mix. This has the white curly base with yellow and pink and purple and light blue and green glitters in it and then it also has pink and green flower glitters, but I really, really like the mix of colors in this one. Um, the next one was a April Mystery Frosting. This is April Fool's Frosting, and this is your white curly base. Um, I see some metallic blue, metallic red, and some metallic purple, and there's also like matte baby blue. Um, there's a bunch of different colors in this one. This is another one that has a really, really good um, glitter mix color-wise in it that I really liked. The next one is Peanut Butter and Jelly Frosting. This is your white curly base with some brown metallic and then some kind of coppery metallic glitters and then a bunch of different purple shapes. There's nothing too incredibly chunky in this one. And this really is packed with glitter. Like there's a ton of glitter in this one. The next one is Hawaiian Frosting. This is the white curly base, but it is a little bit more um, on the yellow side for this one. And this has green, hot pink, um, red, and yellow glitters in there. There are some medium-sized circles, but nothing too huge. The next one is Raindrops in my Frosting. I really, really like the name of this one. <laughs> this has your white curly base, which kind of leans a little bit blue, because it does have all the glitters are different shades of blue. There are, again, those medium circles. Everything else is small. Oh, I see triangles. There's triangle glitters in here as well. And... Um, kind of a mix of matte and metallic. Most of the larger ones are matte, but there's a really fine metallic blue running throughout there as well. I think this is well on its way to becoming one of my favorite frostings because this is beautiful. The next one is a Mickey Mouse in my frosting. This is a white curly base and this is absolutely packed with glitter. It's a ton of pink and red, a mix of matte and metallic, and then there are also some black Mickey Mouse shaped glitters in there. And the last one is Leopard Print in my frosting. This has pink, black, purple, and gray glitters in there, and then it has those leopard print spot shapes, leopard spot shapes in there as well. I will link uh, Polish by Jessica Jean down below as well. So that is a massive nail polish haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will link all the indie sellers down below, even if I forgot to mention that I would link them down below, they'll be down there. Um, as well as the blogger Polish to Precision, I'll link her blog or Instagram, whatever it is that she does. I will link that down below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye!